I just got back from watching Eugenius at the Turbine Theatre, which is just next to Battersea Power Station here in London. And boy, this show was so much fun. It's not every day that you go to a musical and you can just really tell that everyone on stage is having a great time. The music just makes you feel good. Everyone in the building just seems to be crackling with this kind of energy. And you walk out at the end with a smile on your face that just kind of can't get wiped off. I haven't seen Eugenius before. I had middling to low expectations just based on the fact that it's at the turbine and I've not been to the turbine before either. And I don't really know if stuff at the turbine would be of a kind of lower quality to some of the stuff that you'd see on the West End just because it's a much smaller scale theater. Like, I don't know. I wasn't judging it in advance, but it was new for me. But any kind of reservations, hesitations that I might have had keeping it in that middling expectations area were kind of just pushed aside pretty much from the very beginning of the show. The story overall, I won't go into spoilers here, don't worry, in this entire review, but focuses on a boy called Eugene who draws comics, he's a school kid, he's not super popular, and the show is about those characters in his comic that he draws kind of coming to life in some way. That's the vibe. And I thought Eugene, played by Elliot Evans, was great. I thought he did a really good job in that role. He's definitely got that awkward school kid kind of look down with all the mannerisms that would go along with that, and I could definitely definitely see him maybe playing like an Evan Hansen or something in the future. But for me, there were two standout members of the relatively small cast. But for me, there were two, but for me, there were actually two other folks that were the standouts for this particular cast. One was Reese Taylor, who plays an assistant to a Hollywood producer. And Reese was just so much fun on stage, like the knowing look towards the audience and the kind of in-jokes that were being shared there. Like that was just so much fun. And second, and this was just such a brilliant performance, was Joseph Beach playing evil Lord Hector. Joseph, you are something special and you were born to play evil superheroes like you're doing in Eugenius because it was just such a funny performance from beginning to end. All of the kind of character choices that he'd clearly made in bringing Evil Lord Hector to life were just perfect. And I really think that even if you've seen Eugenius before and maybe you even weren't that into it, you just sort of thought it was fine or okay, going to see it purely for Joseph's performance here would make sense because it's that good. It's just it's just fun. He just exudes fun the entire time. The musical itself, having been the first time I've seen it, was pretty good. It's not something that I walk away from going, man, I really like learn something from this plot or something like that, but that's not its intention, so it doesn't matter. It's meant to be a feel-good, 80s inspired couple of hours, and that's exactly what it achieves. The 80s references are littered, throughout the show. They are everywhere to the point that I didn't get most of the references I feel like, but I still had a lot of fun. Like you just don't need to. Some of them thankfully are super obvious. Like, okay, I can see that it's a trap. It's a Star Wars reference. Like I get it, but there's just so many of them. I think it's probably impossible to know absolutely everything that they're referring to there, or at least impossible if you're my age. <laughs> and the songs themselves also keep that doesn't take itself too seriously kind of vibe. Some of them are actually very silly and the extra, extra silly ones, I don't really like so much. They're kind of fine. Like one is the no pants dance, the no pants dance. And I just thought it was fine. But others, like I believe the song before the end of act one is Hollywood. And of course that main go Eugenius theme is just so full of happiness and joy and it's just such a good time. Everyone in the audience, whether they're a super fan of which this production definitely has some, or they're a super fan's parents or they've been dragged along by a friend or whatever, everyone by the end of the show is getting into that spirit and that in itself, I think, speaks to what this show is capable of and at the Turbine specifically. It's just infectious, I think, in that way. So if you're open to the idea of having an okay time at the theater, I really recommend going to see Eugenius and by the end of it, you'll be doing the little dance with everyone like it's that kind of show. There is one gripe I have and this one's a pro anacon kind of mixed into one. So the Turbine Theater is really small and it's gorgeous. The way they've designed and decorated it for Eugenius, 
is so lovely. You've got comic book theming everywhere. There's a massive wall on the way in where you can tag your name to sort of show that you've been to the show. Like they're clearly going out of their way to cater to that core fan base that Eugenius has because ultimately I think they need to just to keep continuing to get people in the door. But I do wish the turbine had better speakers. I'm super sensitive to this and I'm aware of that. So for your average theatre goer, it's probably not a big deal at all. But for me, I was sitting in row E or something. So I wasn't super far back. I was sort of central. So I was in a pretty typical position in the theatre. And some of the songs are just too loud, like painfully loud to the point that I'm sort of sitting in my seat going, yeah, that's just a little bit like 5 dB over what I'm comfortable with. And that's unfortunate. But then also there's something about the tone of the sound that comes out of the speakers that even having worked in a production environment for the last 10 years, I struggle to correctly kind of describe. It's almost like there's some level of thinness to the audio in certain areas, despite the fact that there's plenty of like bass, for example, when it's there. But certain sounds are compressed or they're just sort of thin in a certain way where for example when you've got a chorus of women that are all singing and it's quite high in register it's not that it feels like it's shrieky or anything like that it just feels like the nature of that sound just doesn't sound good and you end up with similar kind of harmonic frequencies coming through when you've got a lot of those 80s soundtracks with lots of like snare and lots of like those sorts of noises which cover quite a broad range of frequencies it just doesn't sound that great to my ear and this is something that i don't ever really have issues with in west end theaters but in this theater specifically for whatever reason the sound system just didn't sound as good as i would have liked it to and that goes for when the characters are just speaking on stage as well you can hear the sound system like it doesn't just sound like a west end sound system if any of you have any insights as to what i'm hearing here and what i'm disliking and whether i'm just being too much of a nitpicker for very minor details, then I'd love to hear it in the comments. But it's not the fault of Eugenius. The show itself is fantastic, and I don't blame the turbine for having a slightly lower end speaker system compared to a much bigger theater. Overall, I love the show. I really recommend you check it out while it's on. And I think that the turbine have done, for all intents and purposes, a fantastic job at making you feel part of the Eugenius fandom and just sort of the aura and the aesthetic of the show is everywhere and I love it. So regardless of minor gripe related to the sound, I'm a happy customer and I'll definitely try and make it back at some point before the end of its run.